Hi guys, and today's video we're going to be uh, changing out the bolts on the wheel spacer. It should be a pretty basic job to do, but not something I've done before. So I just thought I'd sort of film it for people that aren't familiar with how to do this. Uh, 17 socket for these wheels on the 350. I'm not sure what everyone else's will be. Uh, you probably want to break off for this, but I don't know how tight mine will be because I know I left them loose last time I used it, just because I knew I'd have to take them off at some point. So we'll just crack them first. Yeah, that was proper loose. One of them is missing because I left that one off because that one was too far gone to even try and put a, a nut on. So Yeah. So once they're, they're loose that you know you'll be able to get off when the car's in the air, pretty much start jacking it up. Pretty standard stuff really. If you wonder what the string is, that's just because the uh, the car cover was on. So that's one of the things that keeps the car cover on is just string tight down. Just in case anyone was like, why is the string on your wheel? Oh, there we go. And we'll drop this one down gently because I like these wheels. Like so. There we go. All right, I'll get you a bit closer in so you can sort of see what we're dealing with. Which. Need the camera lens. I think that's kind of the best we're going to get. The sun's in, so you can kind of see. With these type of spacers, they're the ones that bolt onto the hub. So you unbolt these and then it'll slide off. You do get some spacers that are just the same bolts, but you slide them onto it, but you just have to extend the bolts that come from the actual hub rather than separate ones with the spacer, if that makes sense. Uh, you can kind of see the metal fragments on these with the ones that are kind of ruined. Uh, the idea is to basically take them off, take the spacer off, put new ones of these on, and then it'll be pretty sound with getting these bolts back on. I don't think it's these that are the issue because I've tried different ones on them, which we can try now. Yeah, see, look, straight away that one's stuck. We'll try a different one, completely different. You saw these are on the car. And it's the same again. The thread's basically gone on it which I think it just, just happens really with using like the guns and stuff on the car, they kind of just wear and tear. That one is not great at all. So we'll get these off. Not sure what size this will be, possibly a 17. Uh, it's not, I'm gonna find what size it is and I can let you know what that one is. So 19. Okay, so 19 is what we want on them. Uh, luckily we've got a brake bar again because this is probably going to be quite stiff because I bet these have not come off the car for a long time. <sighs> yeah. So there's one. Just got, kind of going like a star pattern. You don't want to undo the top half and then undo the bottom after. <clears throat> I'm going to use my hand for these because I don't want to ruin them. And they are, oh no, it's going to get stuck in my socket, there we go. Just like mini versions of the, the ones that you put on the car. If you've never seen them before, I mean, I've not seen them, so this is all new to me. Kind of watched like a video on how to do this briefly. And I was like, yeah, we can do that, it's pretty simple. I don't have the replacement ones of these yet because I don't want to order the wrong ones. So it's going to be all filmed in one thing, but over different days, just because I don't have the parts on me now. That uh, is the last one off. So we should be able to just pull the spacer off now, he says. Oh wow, that was easy. And then that's the, the original hub, basically. What the wheel, you could bolt the wheel onto this and just scrap the spacer off, but the, the spacer, I don't even know what size this is. It's like a big one. I'd say it's 20 or 25, maybe, with a guess. But I like the fitment with what these spacers give, so we're gonna just basically replace the bolts and then put new ones on. Uh, I believe we now just have to hit them through. I wasn't too sure if there'd be bolts on the back that we have to undo, but these look like they're the ones that kind of slide out, I would guess. So I'm going to find some sort of hammer slash mallet and we're going to see how easy these come out. And I need to identify, oh, to be fair, I just get one out and then I can measure the length in and then I can order the part. It should be pretty standard. I'm going to put the wheel back on and then I'll 
drop the car down because I don't need to leave it up obviously but you don't need to know that for the purpose of replacing this bit so I'll get the wheel on and everything you I won't show any of that because it's just standard stuff really you don't need to see that but we'll jump to a we're trying to get the the bolt out and see how difficult that will be because I'm assuming it's going to be quite tricky as they've been sat in there for a while so let's do that now so this is where we're at basically uh, just got two bits of anything really you can use for this is just some wood to uh, have a gap in the middle basically then we've just got a big hammer and we're just gonna they should just push through i don't know how easy this will be but that is the plan i'll see get the spacer to sit either side like that and then oh, i'll be that way won't it just like that just so we can hit through and it should pop out hopefully maybe i don't really know it's been going well so far but So the current issue that we were having with the spacer, so you meant to actually, you put like a nut and you screw it all the way down and then like then sort of like unlocks the bolt from what I've seen anyway in a lot of the videos. Then once that's loose you can hammer it out, I was, thought you could just hammer it straight out which you can't. Uh, which we can't basically do, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I'm going to try and get to focus if it'll let me. Yeah, so you can kind of see there, it's basically because the bolt's kind of melted itself across. We can't actually get the bolt on to unscrew the bolt to get it loose and then hammer it out. So that does mean that we have to get a new spacer basically, which isn't the end of the world. I don't actually know any other way to do this. I guess you could technically chop half that bolt off and then screw it down, but I can't be also faffing than that to be honest. We'll just get a new one, which they're not too expensive to be fair, but that's kind of the end of that one, unfortunately. Hi guys, so basically we jumped now to a couple of days later filming this with after we've gone on with what you've just seen in the previous clips with the whole dealing with the spaces, not being able to get the bolts off and all that sort of stuff. Uh, originally we were saying that I was going to get new spaces, I'm not going to bother with that at the moment because looking at the fitment of the current car now, which I'll overlay all the clips and stuff which you'll be seeing now. Uh, the fitment's pretty good to be fair with the sort of the wheels that I've got on currently which are the uh, rotor pro r wheels i think they are in bronze whatever not that the wheel necessarily matters but as you can see from the video the fitment's pretty pretty good to be fair and then as you can see from the other side i'm not sure how well this clip's gonna link up to my voice because i can't see what i'm the video is but i'm i know i'm gonna overlay it onto that because i pre-filmed it but um the fitment on the other side it, it's not awful it sticks out a little bit i'm not too bothered on fitment because obviously it's a drift car and stuff as long as it's functional so i'm kind of bothered out currently not about all the, the visuals as too much but without the spacers it doesn't look bad to be honest i'm not too bothered with them not being there just know to be careful with obviously don't want to round off any bolts because that means i will have to take the hub off to then replace them but if that happens then that's just one of the things i'm going to have to replace not too hopefully it's slightly enjoyable to watch uh, sort of the bash bar on the car because I uh, got that mounted up a couple of videos ago which was probably <sighs> could have been a month from now possibly I'm not really too sure when that was it was a while ago uh, snapped two of the bolts while I was putting that in so I need to basically get them drilled out get some new ones put in and then that will pretty much be sound then the car is basically ready to go on track then hopefully today's video has been semi semi decent to watch a bit different probably not too educational because i don't really know what i'm doing to be honest mechanical wise i'm i'm pretty poor to be fair but i like to give it a go where i can hopefully that translates across in video okay but we got some new videos up each week which i'm trying to keep with the weekly uploads which i've kind of been dipping into the uh the virtual world with all the gaming stuff recently just because that's a bit more convenient without been able to get out then do anything to the car as there isn't too much to do as i've said but we will get the track videos in soon all the car shows will be loaded in soon so more content will be coming and this will be a bit more enjoyable so thanks guys for watching and sitting it out so uh until next time guys catch you later